Good morning everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it's really lovely to have you here and um, I hope you're all well. I am good, thank you. Um, now I have had <laughs> I've had an update overnight on my cam on my phone and yeah things are looking a bit strange so well I'll just have to go with it and, and see see what's happening. Has my bow come undone from there nearly? Okay so it is Thursday uh, for you which means it is Tatty Treasure and Friends, no, Tatty Treasure and uh, collage type, <laughs> collaboration time. So um, I am using their new kit, which is entitled Gentleman. And there are two kits. One is in Tanya's shop, who is Tatty Treasure on Etsy. Um, and there are two, you know, two different kits in the name Gentleman, a kit and an add-on. And there are, there is a, another kit with this very similar theme and pictures but completely different um, in Anine's shop who is collage type on Etsy and she also has a main kit and an add-on. Now if you want to have a look at a flip through of everything that's on there you will see it on Tanya's channel who is Tatty Treasure and on YouTube and you will find a link to that channel should you wish it in my description down below. Gosh I know I keep saying that but there are a lot of new new people joining us so um, yeah I know if you're looking for something it is always nice to just be able to click a link and get there sometimes they work sometimes they don't frustrating when they don't but yeah I just had to say all that so we've, we've done it it's out of the way so hello hello how are you doing I am um, playing with the elements of the kit or um, ephemera whichever you want to call it and I did say we would be doing some embellishing of the journal today so with the kit um, if you've missed the first two videos I haven't put them into a playlist yet but when I finish filming here I will so hopefully they'll be in the playlist by the time this this is uploaded um, but we're making an envelope a small envelope and um, folio type journal type thing <laughs> I think it's more a journal than a folio actually it's an envelope journal a mini one though so I'm feeling the minis at the moment I'm going to be good and put all that in there so yeah I was just cutting uh, trimming out a pocket while I was while I was doing the introduction to you there so this is just a pocket from from the kit or rather two and I printed all the kit onto paper just one thickness so I have backed <coughs> the pockets as I, I often do when I do kits I think it just saves printing all the time doesn't it and it thickens them up a little bit as well um, onto some book page yeah so they're just two nice pockets we'll be able to I'll let them dry They've been drying a little bit, but I've not not long since done them. Um, yeah, and then we can embellish them a bit more and put them in. So what have I been doing? I've been having a nice little play. So let's just remind ourselves of what we've got here. We did the um, the journal cards in the envelope um, pockets last time. Two of those. Still haven't put a tab on them yet, but I will. And um, yeah, we stitched the signature together together, didn't we? So we've got pocket there and lots and lots and lots of blank plain pages to play with that's a piece from the kit which is a lovely notebook i think i'm just going to put some um uh, writing you know journaling paper in there but i can't decide whether to make you know a flip down i might do that i've got some of that cash book paper actually if i coffee dye that that might be done. nice as a flip down we'll see but yeah lots just lots of pages ready for us to play and put some luscious things on nothing else in it so and obviously that one in the back again and we also made these which we will stick in the front I think I said I was going to stick them in last time um, and I didn't so one front and one back which just flip ups with more flip outs <laughs> more little interesting bits inside them yeah both the same inside just different gentlemen on the outside. I've had. I just. I'm having the greatest fun with this kit. Just playing with all the, um, yeah, the little embellishments because it's it's different to anything I've done before, and uh, yeah, I'm having great fun with it. So I have made some um, pieces off camera because I, I'm going to make two of everything. So some some I'll put in. You know, two in each in the one journal. Some I won't, but I'll make two, and then you can get to see them. So this one, I'll start with this one because Tanya did this 
um, on the run up to hers. I think she might have done it on a Saturday um, video where she had one of her granddaughters with her. But she cov covered lots of these brown tags um, just with stamps from uh, Nanine's kits. I can't remember if it was these stamps or not or from another kit. Um, but I really liked the idea, so I had to go off and have a go. So I've done one, I've only done one. Um, and it is literally just all the stamps cut out and a couple of the tickets and just collaged on top of each other. So um, yeah, I didn't feel I needed to do that on camera because it's, um, yeah, it's, it's fairly obvious what to do. I just feel like we're a long way away, hang on. I shouldn't have messed with it, should I? Because <laughs> it stopped and now I've got a film to join. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know. Something definitely different about the camera. I'll have to have a look. And what was I saying? Yeah, and, and like I say, um, Tanya's done them anyway, so I don't want to repeat um, something she's done. I just loved it when I saw them. Um, right, let's start with this one. So this was, so I've got all the other pieces here somewhere, so I can show you which piece of the kit it was. Um, and I'm going to do one. So this was this, which is a <coughs> library. I think that might be a library card pocket. Um, and obviously you fold them over and glue them down. You can see where one and two flaps go under inside. But I've decided to leave it open. So I have, oh, I forgot about that number one there. I don't suppose that matters because it had the number two here, look, and I put top secret on it. So I literally just uh, glued each edge, edge and made them into tuck spots. I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, I might leave that number one there and just put some bits and pieces in. So they're, you know, they're journaling space if you want to. Or it's you know an interactive play with play with something piece should you want to and then just to keep it closed um, I've just put one of those black paper clips on it and I think I might use that as a a pocket I don't know pocket filler with the clip on you know so to go in a pocket so we'll make that one in a moment and then this one let me just take this out <coughs> excuse me it's another library um, pocket just a slightly different style this one I have just put together like you should like the library pocket so one tucked in and maybe this is a coin envelope because it's got the flap out I don't know anyway this one this piece of the kit um, I literally just um, inked it glued it together like you should and put a label on the front one of those lovely labels now it's a square one and I just cut it into the lozenge shape which I really like and you know it just allowed me to see more of that beautiful paper behind and then to fill it um, I just took a page of my um, shorthand Pittman Shortman handbook because I thought it looks like secret code a bit doesn't it um, yeah and I, it's just a bit of something fun to work for whoever gets a journal to play with um, or should they want to they could cover it I didn't want to but you could cover it with writing paper or you could put took little notes inside it couldn't you and I just put one of the lovely little numbers again from the kit across the top so it just looks like something interesting in there put one of those numbers across there as well look a gentleman on the front okay so that one's that one really easy but just fun really enjoyed it and then I made this one so um, if you remember there was oh, there are lots and lots of these um, images gentleman images in the kit in I think at least three sizes and, and I just stuck some onto some black paper just you know just to see just to give me a bit of <laughs> inspiration and yeah they've been there for the last two videos that I've done and this time I made something with one so I it was on here so I had three on here so I just stuck one of these down I'll, again I'll do it with you on the side I cut it so it was level I got one of these little labels again and um, I just went round it in red in red felt tip and then in black soot uh, distress ink just to it's just got that tiny little pop of red and perhaps a bit nearer yeah I just thought that was um, something interesting and then to make it look because it was too nice and neat and pristine to make it look a bit dog-eared I just got my <laughs> star punch small star punch and just punched some weird shapes out of the side and then I thought I didn't know whether to make it a journal card or to punch a hole in it and put it on as a um, uh, you know like a dangle piece kind of so I'm not going to do anything with it yet I am going to make another one to show you what I did and then I'll wait and see where I need something so it could it could even go down as a pocket couldn't it or a tuck or it can be a pocket filler yeah we'll wait and see so we'll make one of those one two three yeah i think that's enough to be going on with isn't it <coughs> um 
The only other thing I did do was stick onto, on back onto, and again, this isn't dry yet, some of my coffee dyed paper, the journal card. So there are two that are portrait, and I've stuck them um, up, upside down to each other. What is that word? <laughs> it's completely gone out of my head. Anyway, so when they're folded, they're both the right way up. Yep, so when they're folded, they'll both be that way up. And when this is folded, so two portrait and two landscape, they'll be that way up. And they will just be like double journal cards to, to be tucked in. So, yeah, I don't necessarily have to do that with you, do I? So, and then we've got all the little bits of and pieces that we, we might make some um, clusters. Or we might just use them as they are on the pages. We'll see. Um, so let's let's go on and make some of these then. And then uh, should have probably inked to save you, shouldn't I? And then we can start putting them in the book, which is what everybody likes. So yeah, these are these were even printed on white paper, which I don't always do now. But I just I did print a couple of pieces on the cream, and I preferred this one on the white. I thought the um, the blacks were crisper. You know, because black printed onto white, um, yeah, the colour doesn't alter, you get black, whereas black printed onto cream, it, it wasn't quite the same. And um, <coughs> the greys also, you know, a similar thing. I just thought they they printed a, a nicer tone, or a tone that I preferred, not necessarily nicer. It depends on your, your preference, doesn't it? Um, Might as well, while I'm inking and chatting, I might as well do them all, hadn't I? Oh, that one's done. Oh, that one just needs doing on the outside. And this is one that's just going to be glued, isn't it? So maybe we should just start with this one. Yeah, let's start with this one because it's going to be really easy. Glue it, stick a label on and a, and a um, piece of paper in it. I'm sure before I, I'm sure I went off at a tangent then and I was saying something, but it's gone now. As always, no change there. It didn't take me long this time though, did it? In this video. Oh, did you spot my error? Straight away. It's a good job it's out glitter. I want that one and I do want it over the over the top. I should have should have realised there wasn't a number on it. That one's nearly dried now. So what are you all up to? What's your weather like? Oops, yep, that's it. I know a couple of you are working along with me doing this uh, envelope kit. One of you, I think, with a gentleman kit, and one of them, one of you with something else. Anybody else doing it? Let me know. Um, anybody making the ephemera? Or have I inspired you to do the ephemera after this? So I've got another page pulled out. What did I went round it in black? soot and uh, just ever so lightly because this is a very vintage book as you can see it is naturally distressed I just tore the pages out rather than cut them out so that they've got that lovely torn edge on them <coughs> um, I've just asked you what your weather's like mine is again beautiful and sunny uh, to look at but very very cold out there and I mean cold now I haven't been out today it's Neil's first day back at work that's a nice piece of writing on look nice piece of journaling um, but obviously I've been out been out to the bin and open the door to let the cat out <laughs> he doesn't stay out um, too long with the door closed like if the door was open he'd be in and out all the time but it's too flipping cold at the minute um but yeah and gosh it is cold so i came in and asked um alexa what time it was and uh, uh, what time it was <laughs> uh, what the temperature was and she said minus two which is pretty cold for us in the uk um as a daytime temperature definitely um I guess it's kind of what we're used to, but we haven't we haven't had winters like that much recently. So, yeah, so through the window, sunny, looks beautiful. And I know some of you are going minus two, because are we, is that centigrade? Yeah, I think that's centigrade Celsius. Um, oh, now then, back to science. 
So, <laughs> whichever one where water is boiling at 100 and water is freezing at zero. Is that Celsius or centigrade? It's one of those two. Yep, yeah, love that. Um, that's what we're at. And I know to some of you guys that's nothing positively balmy, I think, if you're quite near Alaska and that way on. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cold. Pretty cold for us. Or for me. Oops, that was a bit of an odd shape to me. Never mind, we'll roll with it. Yeah, I accidentally printed double sided on this. <laughs> what a shame, what a waste. Never mind. That's a slightly bigger um, ticket as well, but that's okay. This has got bigger writing on it than that one. Yeah, so how easy was that? I think it, it's just made by that lovely piece of paper in there and then that gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, Yes, what is that? A label. Okay, so back to this one that we were doing then, which is this. So I folded these. I think I went there first because that's the one. Now you can do it on your scoreboard. I find it no better. <laughs> Sometimes worse doing these little folds on my scoreboard. It's just me. Don't, don't assume that's the case. It's just me. Um, Yeah, so it's not worth getting it out for me. Oops. Now, because these are pockets, I I, um, I don't have to get them because they're, you know, pockets that are going to be filled. I don't have to get the back exact with the front, which sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, because I just pull it over so that it fits. Because if it gapes a little bit, like that, it just means you've got a fatter pocket, doesn't it? It is quite a long way over that one. After all that, I do feel you're a long way away. I don't do. I don't move you again. We'll have to see how it goes. Right. So I nearly closed that then. So just two tiny bits of glue there and there, just to make the tiniest of um, tucks pockets. And the same here. I just love sitting and playing with the bits of this kit. I, I don't think these will be going away when I've done. I think I'll just sit and make things out of them and then put them away made. Right, so I want a little... What did I do with me? There they are. What did I put on this one? I think, was it... Oh, a top secret. I think we've already got statements somewhere in the book. Specimen field note. Oh, advisor. I haven't used that one, I'm pretty sure. Wallet. Yeah, advisor, I haven't. And there's a bit of white still on there, so. Off you go. And I just did it in black. Loving this black soot. The mixture of the black soot and the um, antique photo inks, distress inks on this, um, this kit. Loving it. Yeah, so the cat, <laughs> the cat's actually sat outside my door <laughs> here. Um, he has been in once, twice. He's, he's he got in yesterday. I knew he was doing something for me in here, and uh, yeah, he he came out just looking like, well, I don't know what all the fuss is about because there's nothing in there. <laughs> he had a good look round, um, but yeah, it's the fact that I'm in here, and. Uh, Oh, he is is a play. He's very much a playful cat. Nothing would be safe. You can't have anything. I had my um, knitting needles out downstairs, knitting a, a baby coat for a friend, a friend of Neil's, well, work colleague of Neil's, um, his grandma. Well, actually, it's Anne Marie who I got my uh, um, cutting die cutting machine off, and. Uh, yeah, I went in, I'd left him on his own, I went in and the needles were clear across. Luckily there was no knitting on it, but I'd just put the needles down on top of the bag and uh, yeah, they were clear across, across the floor. And as I went to pick them up, he was, he run over like, hey, they're mine. <laughs> yeah, so lots of things are fun to him. So imagine, imagine the fun he would have in here. And um, yeah, I don't want him on this bed because it's a guest bed. It, it's different, isn't it? Having a, a pet on on your bed 
no don't do that Denise you see what was I talking about don't shut it down it's open it's a flap um so yeah they're, they're, they're all the reasons he's not allowed in here plus it does him good sometimes to not be allowed to do something because he's getting a little bit of a cheeky monkey <laughs> as cats do he thinks he owns the place um, the trouble we're having with him at the moment is, I suppose it's difficult for an animal, he can't differentiate between a day off and a work day. So, uh, you know, when Neil goes to work, the alarm goes off at half six. And um, when he doesn't go to work, Simba goes off at half six, <laughs> which is quite annoying, to say the least. Um, do we have that one in there? So I just cut one of these down. That's all I did. It was just a label from the kit. Um, very versatile labels now they fit and they are similar to the portrait pictures I'll just show you this one on here i used one on here as well look yeah so you know you could back those portrait pictures with them um that's the point i could have put a picture on the back of there couldn't i what's going on the front oh yeah the gentleman so um i had a couple of tickets there was five so yeah i put three in one so these two can go in this one just to just to show that something can go in there more than anything yep there you go and you go and that in there so let's pick let's pick a young man shall we to go on the front the choice <laughs> swipe right or swipe left which shall we do <laughs> I'm trying to not pick the same chaps all the time. Oh, I quite like him. <laughs> yep. I think I went round him in black looking at that. Although this one is on a brown, maybe I shouldn't have. Um, this is on a black, black grey-black background, that's hard to say. Whereas that one's on the brown. Yep. I wasn't sure how I was going to get all these and um, use all the photographs, and beautiful though they are, when I started what I, the project I was doing, I was thinking, you know, you can only put so many photographs in, but no, I'm loving, you know, all the because of the different sizes, all the different things that I can make with them, and the fact that it's like a, a dossier of men, gentlemen, or not, as the case may be, um, in here, I think. So I want a plainish one. That's plainish. Let's have a look. It's plain. Oh, that's quite a few. I think that's enough to choose from, isn't it? Right, I don't want the postal one, so that says miss on it. <laughs> hmm, maybe I haven't got one I want yet. just so picky aren't I uh, to be honest and any of them would do any yeah I like the fact that that's got a little stamp I was thinking that about some of these um, passport photographs that I could get the stamp um, at, you know the stamp pads out and do some stamping across them but I'd have to have quite a, a good strong colour red might be good you know, like the stamp in passports and things like that. So easy, but so not simple, if you see what I mean. Real easy to make, but they're, yeah, they're not simple. They're, um, yeah, decorative, very decorative. Love that. So that was those. What did I do with the other two? That was those. Um, we just had this chap, didn't we? A couple of pockets to fold, and then maybe those big journal pieces are on this this one. I am going to make another one of those. I'll, I'll, again, I'll do it off camera. Let's make one of these. Then, I have, what have we done with them? So, because I've that one's at an angle. Look, I need to cut that at an angle. What I'll do is use this bottom one. I think. <coughs> and I think what I did was I lined the bottom of the photograph up like that on this so that I'm uh, I'm cutting level with the photograph if you see so 
so it should look straight because I just put them down I didn't very straight did it it's a little bit long that I'm just shaving now stop it <laughs> okay I don't know what we'll do with him that chap we'll put him over there uh, right yeah all I did was stick one of those down trimmed it off um, just cover any white pieces so I'm using the brown here so simple I'm not doing anything complicated and but they're just so effective that's the word I was looking for earlier effective I want to try and get that so these can be folded in half if we want you know something put inside could be made into mini books you know, straight straightish right we've got to choose a word again more oh, priority I like that one and it's right at the top Let's have, oh, it's big. I'll cut it down a little bit. It's a shame, but I don't want it quite that big. And then just go around it with my red pen. Looks a bit shocking to start with. I, I went around that one and then thought, oh, that's too, too fresh and bright. But then the black, um, the black soot just blended it right in you know aged it straight away whoops oh I'm not even on it there oh wiggly wobbly line okay so you can see that's quite bright compared to that one isn't it but then this black where's my dobber this black just took it right down You've still got a pop of red there in places. Yep. Um, I'm wondering if to rather than use a star punch, use a different different punch on here and make it different somehow. What have I got? Um, This tiny little tab punch. That's sort of a mm, it's not much of a shape, is it? Oh, there's my oh, I've got a love heart. Obviously I don't want a love heart cutting out of it, but or a bottom shape. <laughs> um oh, what a lot of Palava. Oh, let's just take one of those out. Right, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this one down here. And just take another. That's it. It's like it's been punched or something. Not punched as in punched in the face. <laughs> punched as in stamped. I think. Ouch. Okay, so they're done. I don't know what we're doing with those, but they're done and made. Let's put the lid on this fold those pockets and then yeah get filling because time is gosh it is flying by but I had so much fun making those <laughs> stand up yep still not 100% dry these but where's my uh, tool just in case I want to put some pockets in straight away um, I want to put the, uh, the bits in that we've made and those two do I want a I definitely want something on them do I want a divot in them oh I can't even see that's all in the one oh yeah I can see it's not quite I can see it's all in the one colour yeah it's not very straight that's better straightened it up we got there <laughs> that same there It wouldn't have been any straighter though, I promise you, if I'd have done it on the uh, the creasing, the scorer. It might be if you do. <laughs> Oops. 
I just like to make those a little bit sharper so they're not showing, that's it. Put a bit, bit of the bulk out a little bit. That's it. Okay. And I like that one with the stamps on it. I might just put some of the actual stamps uh, from the kit on that one. But I, we don't know if we're putting those in yet today because we are nearly out of time. And we still want some lace and some more on the front, don't we? All oh, right. Oh, I forgot to put that on the back. So we were deciding um, whether to put that as a belly band so that stuff can go behind it, you know, sort of top and bottom. Um, I think I will, but not put anything behind it because um, I think it's going to be bulky enough, but it'll be a good, good hiding place for someone that gets a journal should they require it. So I'm going to put it down with fairly thick blob of glue because it's a it's not too heavy but it's a heavyish piece it should be fine on that because that's an envelope glued down try and get it central I think I still haven't decided about the uh, the closure yet what I'm going to do now it could just have like a some sort of a clip on it a removable clip couldn't it if I can find one we'll see We'll decide when we get to it. I've got anything there that I can put in. Anything scrap, just in case. There we go. I'm to do the back one. Because I, and I was going to say, let's not put it in, I'll do it later, but I think I said that last time. So let's get them in. <laughs> And then they're a done deal. It also helps me see how thick the uh, the whole thing's getting as I'm filling it. I have a feeling it might become a bit of a chunk. Just because of all the lovely bits of ephemera. Oh, I was hiding a lot of that beautiful paper, but never mind. There's more of it elsewhere in the journal. I don't know why I'm rubbing the sides. There's no glue on the sides. That's it. That will stop it getting creased at all anymore as well. There we go, just for a little while. So, um, so we've got a flip out there, so that may just want some uh, journaling space putting on it. This has got the card in it. What have we got that we want to Right, we've got these pockets first, and I was thinking this one might be nice in here because it's a tall, tallish one. I didn't ink that, did I? Oh, if I did, it's not showing out very much. That's better. I could have had one of those numbers each side, couldn't I? Just so that it's. Mm, I'll think about it. I just thought these might go nice in here. Yeah, stands out a nice size, doesn't it? Now, what about one of those as well? Because obviously it's wide. No. Just that in the middle, I think, is enough. So we'll put, like, see, it's chunky already. There's the other one that we've just made. There it is. Yeah, these probably want some embellishing on them when we embellish the actual book. Okay, so that's got those two in. So we've got these two. Um, two possible pockets at the minute we didn't do these but these journal spots flip out now I could attach them as no no if I'd have put them the other way I could have but I didn't so um did I say they were going to be pocket fillers as well I did so will they fit in those because they are gusseted oh not quite no and that won't be with the clip on They will though, so I want another one of those, don't I? So, what do we want on there? Watches. Oh, now I've got a letter here and the stamps on there, so I think that might be that might be the thing. You know me, I've got to have a tear. <laughs> That's it. 
section do I just want that on it I don't want anything behind it I don't think I do that paper is just beautiful there's enough there's enough layers in the paper it's um it's William Morris paper and it's got I don't know if you can see probably not it's got like um silver it's like splodges of silver on it splodged right, we'll do that at a bit of an angle as well that's it and I don't I, I don't think I will put a uh, it in there. I quite liked the squareness of it and there's sometimes a divot helps you get something you know in and out so I want something quite heavy. I'm thinking one of the one of these grey papers because you know the brown against the grey the brown tones I like that on there and I like it against that so um Yeah, might be more embellishing going on the page, but this is quite thick now that I've backed it, so it'll need plenty of glue. Yeah, probably will be more embellishment on the page as well when we actually embellish the book pages. So I'll have to make sure I do the other stamp for one of these tags, because I am going to put this front and back. I do like to build even. Often, not always, but I often, often do. I don't know why. I don't know if that's good or bad. I might change the string in that as well, but at the moment I won't. I'll just leave it. Let's put a bit of paper in there and um, put this one in here. So what shall we put on this one? It's already got that stamp decoration on it. I'm thinking maybe just a label, a small label, or what have we put in here? Because it's going to have these and the stamps above it, isn't it? Yeah, so they, they'll probably be on the actual tag. So let's have, I quite like that dotty one, but is it big compared to, no, I don't mind it compared to the stamps that were down I was going to say but labels can be all sizes it's just a really big label and it's a nice plain one for somebody to write on I should say wish yeah I still haven't forgotten that I said I might put some black lace in here not I won't overdo it because I want it to be a masculine ish um, journal It will be going up for sale in the shop, this one, when I've done it. So it'd be interesting to see if the, uh, there's a, a want, what's the word I want, a market for the, you know, masculine style. Like I say, it doesn't have to be a man's journal. It's just masculine in style journals. These will be nice with some of these on the page as well. But So put that in there. So I need to make another one of those off camera. Um, we, may, we need some bigger pockets for these to go in. We need to decide where these are going. And these, I mean, they might go in the same pocket. And then embellish the pages. So we've got a lot to do still. I think I've got two more. So two more Thursdays I think so we'll be okay um, if not I'll do an extra day I don't mind I will finish it with you we've got to do the cover as well haven't we so yeah still a lot to do so give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed seeing it pop over to uh, Tanya's and have a look at the kit if you haven't already and um, have a lovely day I will see you tomorrow which will be this will be Thursday so that'll be Friday oh it'll be yeah um revisiting projects that haven't been finished, won't it? Okay, see you tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.